Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Seven months a year, I don't mind turning the oven on to cook, but when the weather warms up, I prefer using the barbecue. Chicken is probably David's and my favorite protein. I have so many recipes with this meat, and I also have some for the barbecue. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my rotisserie chicken. This is an easy and very tasty recipe. With a mix of ingredients brushed on the chicken and basting it while grilling, this is certainly a summer favorite for everyone. So my friends, let's get cooking. Before firing up the barbecue, We'll position the spit fork by sliding it so the chicken is positioned right above the center of the aluminum pan. By doing it now, we won't have to struggle later sliding the chicken back and forth. Then we'll turn the heat on and bring the temperature to 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. While the barbecue is heating up, we'll make an oil-based rub. So in a small bowl, We'll add canola oil, garlic powder, some zahatar, which is an amazing, beautiful spice blend from Levantine cuisine, then hot paprika, ground sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll whisk the ingredients very well and set aside. All right, so after patting it dry, We'll mount the chicken on the spit by sliding it through the bird cavity and stabilize it onto the fork we positioned earlier. Then we'll insert the other fork firmly so the chicken stays in place when it's turning. By the way, I didn't show you how to truss the chicken because everyone has their own method of doing it. Just make sure the legs and wings are tied up and any excess fat is removed. Next. We'll place the chicken over a large stainless steel bowl and simply brush on or rub, covering the entire bird with it. See how easy it is? So when it's done, we'll move on to the barbecue. After the spit is placed into the rotisserie motor, we'll turn it on, close the lid, and roast it on indirect heat for 1 hour and 15 minutes to 1 and a half hours or until the internal temperature reaches 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So, about 30 minutes through roasting, we'll generously baste the chicken with barbecue sauce. And we'll repeat this step every 15 minutes until it's done. I have a great barbecue sauce recipe for this. So to view it, click on the top right corner of your screen. And as you can see, the aluminum pan is catching the drippings and any excess barbecue sauce, which helps keep the barbecue clean. And voila! This is our rotisserie chicken! Juicy and so flavorful! This is even better than the ones from the supermarkets. The beauty of making it at home is you can use your own seasonings and sauces. This is totally a must-make for summer grilling. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!